Hey everyone, this is Travis Merrick from Fitness Revolution in Raleigh, Texas. Uh, what I want to talk to you about today is what we call the post-Thanksgiving workout. Now, I know it's Sunday right now, so but what happens with a lot of people with the holiday season, Black Friday, things like that, you may not have just limited Thanksgiving to one Thursday night. I mean, you may have taken it as an extended all the way till Saturday, or maybe even gone all the way to Sunday. So. If that did happen, you probably did what we come in the industry called carving up, which means you really super saturated your system with a lot of glycogen or a lot of carbohydrates. And the body can tolerate that for so long, but then if you keep doing that, and if you kind of refer back to my previous blog, you get what we call a spillover effect. And all that means is your body has had enough glycogen that can probably hold, and what ends up happening is the rest of the carbs that you start eating start going into the body fat. So what we need to do is we need to start depleting your body of carbohydrates and to be able to put you back into a fat burning mode, okay? To do this, we do what's known as a HIIT workout. I'm sure you've heard it before. It stands for High Intensity Interval Training, or HIIT. Now, HIIT workouts are short workouts, 20, 30 minutes at the long end. And what this is, is this is anywhere from probably 20 seconds to a minute of very high intense work. Now guys, I define high intensity as really going all out for that period of time. Um, if you're doing a burpee, if you're doing mountain climbers, anything like that, don't pace yourself. Really open it up, open the throttle, and go all out. This is where you're going to get the intensity that we need to really deplete the body of glycogen. Okay? Now, we're going to throw you into a state called glycolysis. And glycolysis, all it is, is just where you're in a car burning mode. But glycolysis typically occurs when a work set is anywhere from 30 to 60 seconds. So respectfully, that's probably where we need to keep our work sets done. So I want you to do a, at least 30 second high intensity exercise. And this can be anything. I personally have a lot of my clients do burpees. I do have them do mountain climbers. Um, jumping rope, running in place, sprint drills, things like that. But in other words, something that's demanding a lot of work from the body for at least 30 seconds. Then with that said, I give them a short rest. And that's what I want you to do. I'm not talking about two minutes. I'm talking about if you do a 30 second work, let's do 30 seconds of rest. You can take it a bit even further. Let's say if you want to do 40 seconds of work. Okay, 40 seconds of work, let's cut the rest down a little bit. Let's keep it at 20 seconds of rest. So everything's kind of around a minute for right now. The reason we do that is when the rest is short, it actually boosts growth hormone levels up significantly. And the higher your growth hormone levels are, the more of a fat burn mode you go into. Growth hormone is probably one of the most powerful fat burning hormones out there. And it is secreted at high levels whenever you are taking very short rest during high intensity exercise. So the great thing about a HIIT workout after a big hard day, and especially after this whole Thanksgiving weekend, is it's a twofold thing. One, you're really going to deplete the body of all the glycogen, a lot of the carbs, and start getting your body back into a fat burn mode. And if you do that high intense work in conjunction with a short rest period, you're also bumping up growth hormone and allow your body to jump back into that fat burn mode better. So what I'll do, guys, is if you check out the link below, I'll actually include in the blog an example of the workout that I did where I personally do to really help when I have those epic cheat days or those holiday days to really get my body back into that fat burning mode again. All right? So remember, you want short rest. All right? Keep your rest. Let's put everything around a minute. Let's keep a short work period. Say work period's around 30 to 60 seconds, and you want a short rest. And I keep your rest, honestly, guys, no more than 30 seconds. So a good place to start, 30 seconds of work, 30 seconds of rest. Repeat that for about 20 minutes, all right? And I can assure you, within about four or five minutes, your heart will be racing, you'll be sweating, but what you'll notice is after the workout, it's a very intense workout, your body will really, the next day, look a lot better. It's gonna look a little flatter, it won't look so much watered down, and really depending on how full your glycogen levels are, this will be a good point to really start pulling all that glycogen out and it cause you to get back into that fat burn mode sooner, which is probably what we want. Guys, this is Travis Merrick from Fitness Revolution in Raleigh, Texas. I hope you have a great workout.